Today, we will examine international trade. International trade has enormous advantages, among which are International trade generates the exchange of goods and services among the nations of the world to mutual advantages of all participating countries. Promotion of economic development. International trade provides employment opportunities. It enhances international specialization. It leads to increase in world output. International trade promotes friendship among nations of the world. International trade increases the standard of living. It fosters equitable distribution of national resources. Countries are able to acquire skills and ideas. Law of Comparative Cost Advantage The theory or principle of comparative cost advantage states that countries derive mutual benefit from trade when they specialize in the production of those commodities in which they have the greatest comparative cost advantage over others and exchange them for other commodities which have comparative cost disadvantage. The Principle of Absolute Advantage Adam Smith's principle of absolute advantage suggests that a country should specialize in producing goods or services in which it excels compared to others. A country has an absolute advantage if it can produce a good more efficiently or at a lower cost than other countries using the same resources. Instruments of Trade Protection Import duties or tariffs, this is a tax imposed on imported goods to reduce the amount of trade. Foreign Exchange Control this is the control that is exercised by the state, and usually through the central bank on all dealings, in gold and foreign exchange that is. Foreign currencies. Import licensing. Under import licensing, no commodity may be imported except on the basis of individual licenses issued by the government of a country. Reasons for trade protection. Maintenance of full employment at home. Protection of infant industries. Development of import substitutes at home. To correct or remove any imbalance in balance of payment account. To raise revenue, for example. Tax. Prevention of dumping. Prevention of harmful and non-essential goods. Government may protect trade for strategic reasons, for example. In retaliation against a foreign state. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.